Yeah guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to be hosting a website on AWS using their free tier. Before we start, there are a couple of things you might need for this tutorial. First, you'll need a domain and you'll need an Amazon AWS account. You can purchase a domain anywhere like Namecheap or GoDaddy depending on where you want to purchase a domain. For the Amazon AWS account, you can watch this video over here which will walk you through the process of creating your account. Once you have created your Amazon AWS free tier account, log in and search for EC2. Click on instances. Then you're going to click on launch instance. Now you have to give your instance a name. For example, I'll name mine uh, my website. After that, you're going to scroll down, then select Ubuntu for our operating system. Scroll down under key pair, you're going to create a new key pair. Give your key pair a name. Then you're going to click on create key pair. Your keeper will be downloaded. Now let's scroll down under network settings. You're going to allow HTTPS and allow HTTP. Scroll down and then for the storage, you're going to increase it to 15 gigs. Then you're going to click on launch instance. Once your instance has been created, click over here to continue. Now, as you can see, our instance is running, so we're going to select it. After selecting our instance, we're going to copy our public IP address. So let's go ahead and copy our public IP. Now let's configure our DNS records. You can do that on your domain provider where you've purchased the domain. I've already added mine on Cloudflare. If you want to add yours on Cloudflare just like me, you can watch this video over here which will walk you through the process of adding your domain to Cloudflare. Once you have logged in on your Cloudflare or on your name provider, you go to your domain and then you click on DNS records. Now let's configure our DNS records. We're going to click on add record, leave the type as a record, then put add paste your IP address, turn this guy off, and then save. Now let's add another record. Just click on add record, and then we're going to type in CP for this one. And then we're gonna paste our IP address, the same one as the other one. And then this will be our subdomain over here, which we're going to use for cloud panel. Uh, let's edit this again, turn this guy off, save. After setting up your DNS records, let's go back to AWS. Once on AWS, select your instance. After selecting your instance, click on connect. Now click on SSH client. Then you're going to copy this one over here. Now let's go to our file explorer. On our file explorer, let's go to downloads and then copy our private key to a different folder. Now let's open that folder on the address bar, type CMD, then click enter. Now we're going to paste the copied command, just right click and then you'll be able to paste the command, then click enter. Now type yes to continue. Now that you've logged into our VPS, we can clear everything. Now let's go to the root folder. Just type in sudo i just like this. Then click enter. Now that you are in the root folder, you can go to this documentation over here. I'll leave a link in the description for this one. Then you're going to copy this command over here. Paste it on our cmd right click to paste and then click enter to continue 
now let's go back to the documentation if you check here there is a port which we need in order to access uh, the cloud panel so let's copy this one is port 8443 let's copy it let's go to aws go back to instances then you're going to select your instance after setting your instance go to security then select your security group edit inbound rules then we're going to add a rule we're going to paste in 8443 and then we're going to select the first one over here and then we're going to click on add rule now that our rule have has been added we can go back to cmd now let's install cloud panel go back to the documentation then we're going to copy this one over here under my q sl so we're going to copy this command go back to cmd then we're going to right click to paste and then click enter to continue this will take a while so let's just wait Now that cloud panel has been installed on our vps we can access it with this url over here let's copy the url go to your browser paste it and then click enter now click on advance click on proceed now fill in this form with your details and click on create user now let's log in using the recently created user just Put on your username and password then click on login now before I, we add our website over here what i like to do is to change this one into a custom domain so click on admin zone and then we're going to click on settings now we're going to put in our subdomain the one which we created on cloudfare this one over here as you can see we have cp and then we have our domain over here we're going to use cp and our domain to access cloud panel so let's go back to the browser and then let's type in cp dot and then our domain now we're going to save this one now we are all set you can access your cloud panel using our subdomain over here so let's copy so let's copy our subdomain and then let's access our cloud panel with it now we're going to log in again with the same details that we used as before. Now, as you can see, we are no longer having the not secured problem. Everything is all set. Now let's add a website. To add a website on Cloud Panel, click on Add Site, select WordPress. Then you're going to paste your domain here. Don't use a subdomain, use a domain. And then you're going to fill in the other information. Then click on create to create your WordPress website. Once your website has been created, you're going to copy this one since it is important. Copy it and put it in a safe place where you can access it in the future. Now let's access our website and see if everything is working fine. So let's copy our domain name over here and then visit it. Click on advanced then click on proceed as you can see our website is working fine the only problem is that it is not secured so let's add an SSL certificate go back to cloud panel and make sure that you have copied this one then go to sites 
after that select your domain then you're going to go to ssl for slash tls then you're going to click on action new let's encrypt certificate then you're going to click on create and install oh we are getting this error since we don't have a www on our dns record so let's go ahead and add that one on our dns record to add it just go to cloudfare on cloudfare click on add record then click type www then put on your ip address the one which you've used before so copy this one and then paste it here then we're going to turn this guy off save now let's go back to cloud panel then we're going to create and install again Now that our certificate has been installed, if you go back to the website and refresh, if it still says not secure, just open your website on another browser or use incognito. As you can see, it doesn't say it's not secure. That means your certificate has been installed successfully. It will take some time for it to change on your main browser, so don't worry about it for now. Let's continue with our website setup. Now let's access our WordPress dashboard to do that just go to your URL and then for slash WP admin just like this then click enter now we're going to put uh, your admin username and password if you don't remember the information you can check it from this documentation I told you to save it somewhere important it has all the important stuff which you need after logging in you can start using your website setting it up and adding your teams doing whatever you wanted to do on your website you are now all set don't worry about the not secured error it will go away after a few minutes so that's how you can host your website for free on aws free tier if you find this video useful please give it a thumbs up if you have any questions or suggestions don't hesitate to leave them below and of course don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you won't miss our upcoming videos until then take care and peace